Hello everyone! It has been quite a while since I've actually successfully finished one of these behind the studio videos. I have a whole bunch of ones that I started and then never finished and therefore you never saw them, but I wanted to start off the new year with kind of an extra special behind the studio video because this week we're doing some additions to the studio. So the plan for this week is going to be adding some storage above this section here and above my printer over over here. So something, I'm pretty sure that I'd had these like in mind when I designed this studio and then I just never bothered putting them in right away. And it's these IKEA pegboard systems, which if you've like looked at IKEA furniture, you've probably seen these before because they are very aesthetically pleasing and a whole lot of people, even they display them as being like art supplies or craft type storage. So we're going to be installing these this week. So this, I guess, can kind of be like an inspiration or organization art supplies type thing. Um, but yeah, so I have four 56 by 56 centimeter ones. They come in three sizes and then I have like my bag of accessories and other random IKEA purchases from this morning. So yeah, the plan is one is going over here to hold like Cricut type stuff because my Cricut machine is there. So hold mainly Cricut stuff but also different random like desk things that kind of like clutter up this section here that I don't necessarily need on my desk at all times as you can see. It's pretty overloaded right now although that's kind of mainly because I'm gonna have to move out and do a whole bunch of stuff around here. So this section it is getting two pegboards and a third one down there just because there's kind of this weird area and I thought the pegboard might be a really cool addition to kind of fill in that space and also make it usable since right now it is mainly just the gap for my studio light which I also moved the monitor up there. Um, it was attached to the desk and of course I did just put the uh, pegboard um, the cork board back up, so that'll be coming down, and yeah, I'm gonna have to move that. I don't know if I'm gonna put that back up, but anyway, you're gonna see the transformation going, but the first thing I need to do is kind of clean off, um, this area. I don't think I'm gonna bother moving the desk out yet. I kind of need to know the levels of where I want everything. So mainly just pull anything, like obviously get rid of the cork board and pull anything down off of that desk and get anything kind of breakable or whatever off of the desks to start the actual handiwork of installing these boards. So as you can see, I have everything kind of cleaned off the top and got that cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna focus on this one first, then that one, then that one, so I'm not gonna move everything quite yet. Uh, as you can see, I pulled out the first one, and I think I'm gonna do these in steps and not film it, just because knowing my luck, I will like place my body right in between seeing what I'm doing and the camera. Uh, so that's just not gonna be worth it. So yeah, I will show you what, like the steps that I've done, and I'll also show you all the little accessories that I got for these um, when we're to that and then sitting that part up. But for now, I'm gonna actually put these guys on the wall. So as you can see, I've got one bracket up, and of course I realized I'm not gonna be able to reach into this one, so I have finagled, um, <laughs> the desk situation and I gotta deal with all the cords and stuff and the technology um, to put the other two brackets up. And here is how things are looking. Um, as you can see, I have the three up. It's now dark out, so excuse the uh, interesting lighting. Um, but yeah, I got the desks back in order, and I figured I would show you all of the stuff in my happy bag of Ikea fun that I picked up today. Excuse the very shoddy angle. I just did not feel like pulling my tripod over here to set you on and like film directly from above. So I guess I'll just go through the bag. So like the first thing that I picked up, which I have one out, was I picked up quite a few of these shelf things. Now I'm super happy that um, my pencil sharpener that's like always sitting on my desk even though I don't use it all the time actually fits in these so different things like that um, that aren't going to be like on hooks and stuff like my pencil sharpener um, 
any of that kind of stuff. Maybe some paintbrush cups will be going in these. Also maybe some decorative um, things because this uh, wall I also want to be able to have as a background for videos if I need to film against it. So I do want it to be nice and aesthetically pleasing um, while still also being functional. So I did pick up, I think, five of these shelves. Four or five. Um, so yes, quite a few of those, and again, I am going to do that other one, so this is kind of a split between the two parts, even though I haven't done the one on the blue wall yet for all my Cricut stuff. Um, it's just too dark, and so I'm gonna do that tomorrow when I actually have some daylight and some more energy. <laughs> This was very much an impulse buy, but I thought it was really cool. It's just a tiny pencil case, which I don't actually have, and I don't know why. It's just something that I've never actually bought, and I thought it was cool. It has, like, ink splatter stuff, so I'm sure I'm going to find a use for this. You know, it's Ikea. It probably wasn't more than a couple of dollars. I'm not sure exactly how much this was, but I liked it, so I got it. Another thing that I bought a whole bunch of were these cups. Now, these are going to be holding um, mainly probably things that are sitting right now in a cardboard cup that's kind of more of my um, hardware work stuff, so the things that I'd use for costumes and that kind of stuff, not so much on the art supplies related thing, but there might be um, some markers and stuff that go in these um, just so they're closer to this side of the room. So I did buy quite a few of these cups. This was something I didn't actually have on my list. I knew we were going to Ikea, so I kind of figured out um, what I was going to want to buy, um, like what measured out everything, figured out what was going to fit the best, and also kind of guesstimated and figured out how many of each of the accessories I was going to want for it. And this was something I didn't add, but when I saw them in the store, I thought they were awesome. And it is the lidded cups, which I will show you when I have these on. But but I thought they were just going to be super inconvenient, like, to have to take them on and off all the time. But they actually slide off. So the lid itself is what attaches to the pegboard, and then the cup itself slides off of the lid. So they're super cool, and I'm going to most likely definitely be using at least one of these for my drawing clips, because right now they're just kind of in a bin that always ends up on my desk and I can never find it, so having this attached to the wall and knowing where the clips are all the time is going to be super useful. This um, is <laughs> for my paper towels. It is a roll holder. Um, lots of, like, it's really cool to, like, see an Ikea. They have made these, like, for a whole bunch of different things, like kitchen, craft, whatever. So they do end up using these a lot for, like, ribbon and stuff, so if you were more into scrapbooking, um, maybe even washi tape, although it is kind of big um, for washi tape, but it is meant to be a paper towel roll holder, and that's what I'm going to use it for because right now it mine just sits on my desk and it's always inconvenient to try and rip one off when you really need one. So added that as a necessity for the wall. Move on to the more small stuff. Again, a bunch of random things in this bag. This is called a letter holder, I believe, but I'm most likely going to be using it for sketchbooks and any kind of larger book-like um, things, even more display purposes if I want to. Um, but yeah, I'm also probably going to use one of these for swatch sheets, like the uh, watercolor one that I just made. If I don't need it on my desk, I'm going to put it there and probably just all my swatch sheets because what they're in right now they always fall over and I tend to be doing artwork more on this desk and not so much where they're stationed so it just kind of makes more sense for me to keep them closer to this side of the room. So that's kind of what I'm going to be using those for. There's like a billion small bags in this bag. I bought a whole bunch of these clips which are just going to be used for holding um, different 
pieces of paper, any like images that I want to display. I'm sure you've seen around that I have like random bits of paper and drawings and stuff stuck to different things like over there of course I have my helmet template. Um, that's not going to fit on any of these but different pieces of paper and anything that I want to hold up if I need like a reference photo um, or anything. Like right now I just kind of masking tape it to whatever surface I can that's in front of me. Um, but yeah, just multi-use version for the clips. I know I bought a lot of those. Other things in the smaller bags are these longer hooks, if I can find them in the multitude of bags and boxes. Um, I did buy shorter hooks, so they're the longer ones. These ones I mainly bought for my masking tape, just because it's on my desk and again if I can get it off of my desk and more convenient for me to grab that's kind of what this is meant for. But yeah, Here are the smaller hooks so these are just going to be holding up um, possibly some for that wall my Cricut tools um, or just scissors anything kind of that I can hang um, pliers for this wall any of that kind of stuff is what the smaller hooks are going to be four for me. Also I think I just bought one of these roll things. Um, one of the things that they show like on the display or like their mock-up kind of ideas was like a roll of tracing paper or rulers and stuff and I thought that was a cool idea and I'm not really entirely sure right now what I'm going to use this for but I thought that I better buy one just in case because knowing me I will <laughs> realize I need one um, and then not have one and you know, Ikea is not exactly a 10 minute drive away for me, so picked one of those up. And I think that's pretty much it. There's just kind of multiples of everything that I showed you other than this succulent pack, um, which I'm not sure if it's going to go on the wall. Again, it's kind of that aesthetic thing um, just to possibly be for like a background. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a nice um, three pack of small plants. As you can see, they're not huge and they're in white pots and they're pretty good looking for fake succulents. Um, and then I bought two more grassy ones that are in the same pots that were separate. Um, so yeah, kind of random, but you might see them in videos and wonder where they're from. So now you know the story behind the succulents that are definitely not fake. <laughs> I guess now I'm just gonna go ahead and start actually setting up this wall and figuring out what that's going to look like. the next day and as I'm sure you can probably tell I failed at the time-lapse idea. It's mainly just that I realized that I was like taking forever to figure out kind of where I wanted stuff to go and it was just not very conducive for a good time-lapse. There was just a whole lot of nothing happening. Um, so yes, this is what the setup is looking like so far, but I was just trying to figure out kind of what made the most sense for me, um, like setup and production kind of wise. Like obviously I knew that I wanted more art stuff over here and more like hardware tools and like costumey building things on this side, kind of like how it was before just with the new setup going on. So over here, which I'm going to be adding something in a minute that I'll show you, I have the tape that I use the most on that hook there. I have some of my more used um, pens and stuff that I used to have in this thing, but that is like my absolute most used stuff. And this was not quite as used, but I still wanted it close to me, so that is that. This is one of those lidded things like I was talking about, um, which as you can see the lid is still there, which I'm really super happy with this. Um, so I have my drawing clips in there like I said I was going to do. Um, yeah, just super cool and I'm not sure if it said that online, but it's just a lot more practical than it seems um, when you just kind of see it online. I have um, one of the letter holders with some sketchbooks in there right now, um, just to have kind of closer. They're the ones that I kind of grab for more and kind of more randomly, so I wanted those there, although that might end up changing depending on how I feel things are working and whatnot. 
I have my smudge glove there right now just on a clip. Um, it just kind of normally ends up hanging out on my desk, randomly folded and stuff, so I thought that might get, be a good place for it, although half of the time I'm like fighting for it being over here and at my computer, so I really should buy another one, but for now that is there. And then I have a shelf here that has my absolute favorite pencil sharpener, the cup that collapses that I put all of my colored pencils in all of the time when I'm using them, and my pucks, which are like the easel puck things that I have talked about before. And then down there I have my largest masking tape that, or painter's tape that I really don't use that much, um, so that's just kind of hanging out there. Then I put in two hooks to hold one of my rulers so that it's really easy to grab and put away and to keep it off the desk. Another letter holder behind the screen there that right now is holding all of my swatch sheets, including the one that is normally on my desk, but I figured when I'm not using it, it can chill there. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to be doing around in this area. Like I mentioned before, I want this to also be a good background to film on, so the upper area might be a little more um, for display purposes. Right now I just have two of the other, because they come in a pack of three, the other um, slide-out containers because, because the lids are like kind of permanently attached to the board, um, they make a great shelf. Um, especially when you put them side by side, you can make like a larger shelf area. So right now I just have one of the succulents and one of my 3D print um, projects. That's of course Aang from The Last Airbender. And then I put, I knew that kind of when I put these pegboards together, I wanted a shelf that went across the two of them so that um, it just kind of stuck them together more. So that's there right now. Again, might move around. It just has the four other succulents that I bought um, right now. Down here I have another tray, which I don't think I filmed. I'm not sure what I filmed anymore. Um, so another tray, it has my um, sharper X-Acto knife that I sharpen pencils with and stuff, some hand sanitizer that I use for cleaning up all of the time, and my super glue that I use um, the most. This, I did have all of the pens and the like cutting tools and stuff in this bin, but it just kind of was messy, so I put the drawing, like pens and stuff, these are what I use um, for templates and things. Um, put them back in the cup and put them on the shelf, put the scissors up, and then um, this has all of the like cutting things, so an X-Acto knife, um, rotary cutter, um, my eye slicer, another X-Acto knife thing, all of that kind of stuff. And then over here right now, which I might change, um, I have my pliers that I use a lot. Um, they're on one of the hooks right now, but I might print something um, to go there instead. And then brushes are back and the glue is back as well. And then up here I just put a clip up there and put a little cardboard cutout thing um, from actually a figure box that I've kept around because I really like the artwork on it and I thought that would look cool there. But speaking of print things, I realized that there are so many files for this IKEA system that you can 3D print. Like literally hundreds of different hook types, shelf types, different organizers for literally anything you need, like drill bits, dremel bits, like anything. It's insane. So I actually have printed a couple of things already and it are it is these hooks. So I printed these hooks um, as kind of like a tryout, which they're really strong. Um, the ones from Ikea are metal, so they're not going to be as strong as those, but for my purposes, I think the 3D printed things are going to be amazing for anything specific that I need. And I printed these specific ones to put my Apple TV on the board because I want to try and get it off of the desk and it fits on these absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to install that down there. I also haven't put up the other one over there yet, so I'll be doing that too. And yeah, you might see some 3D print time lapses of things. I'm probably going to print something for the pliers because they're kind of impractical and maybe even print something else for the scissors. But we'll see where the day takes us. 
And there is the second pegboard all put up, and as you can see, I already have most of the stuff on it. So this was mainly to declutter my main desk-ish area. So I used to have most of this stuff kind of in like a traditional sort of desk organizer, and this was also to help me store some of my Cricut um, tools and stuff. So. Here is all, like, the majority of my Cricut tools, and then this is kind of like a multi-tool thing that I grab for a lot, so I just kind of put it in there. And then these two I decided to hang up on hooks separately because they're kind of my most used Cricut tools, so I wanted them out um, to be able to grab easier than the rest. This is kind of replacing my... Um, little desk thing, so I used a tray. So, you know, just some traditional um, desk supplies like tape, um, this is a reusable straw, headphone case, wallet, um, although that's not there all the time, just post-it notes, um, random things like that. I have my keys um, there, just um, I grab those if I'm going for walks or to get the mail or whatever, so they're normally sitting on my desk. I thought it would be better to hang them. Scissors, because I'm always grabbing those and it always drives me nuts when I can't grab them fast enough. Um, this section kind of goes together. This is... Um, kind of all of my markers and fine liners that I use for my like journal, schedule, whatever you want to call it. And I have my new one and my old one um, on this letter holder, um, the old ones in the back there. Um, so again, wanted that pretty up there to be able to grab easily. Ruler hung the same way as the other ones. I do use that um, to make straight lines in my planner kind of thing. Um, I have um, a lightning cable that I don't use a lot. I mainly just use it to charge my trackpad and keyboard. So again, normally sitting on my desk, so I decided to hang it. And then the rest is kind of just display of things that were randomly sitting on my desk. So I have a sticker that I made specifically for a pride event that I kept one of. So that's what that is. And then I have um, a keychain and some pins back there that, again, sitting on my desk. There's a pretty, like, large gap area there. I wanted to keep this side pretty thin because my Cintiq um, normally is, like, overlapping there. So I didn't want anything to be coming too far out to, like, just to make sure I didn't hit it and whatever. Um, but yeah, that is what the... Cricut um, desk peg storage is looking like right now. Obviously, like I said before, as I realize that things aren't working as well or, you know, things are going to change probably um, when I figure out what is going to work the best. If you're hearing weird noises because I'm printing something right now, but when I was putting that up, the other thing that came today was my lights for the printer, which they're on a smart plug, so I'm going to turn that on with my phone so I don't um, ask my Amazon to do it, like my Echo. So I I don't set off everyone's, but yes. Looking super cool, I put them in. All it is is an LED strip that fits in perfectly to the frame um, to light it up. Now, mostly this is going to be used for, I have a Raspberry Pi that I need to set up, um, which I haven't done yet, um, that's going to have remote monitoring so I can check in on my prints when I'm either not here, in another room, sleeping, whatever. And obviously I'm not gonna have a light on in this closet all of the time, so I wanted some lights, and lots of people do this kind of LED strip trick. So that's what that's for. Um, that is printing a shelf for um, the pegboards right now, but I'm gonna print something later and probably film it, um, because I know lots of people are like interested in how 3D printers work and stuff, and I haven't really had a chance to show you guys mine because it just, I've been crazy busy, the vlogs haven't happened, yada yada. But yeah, printing a shelf right now, so that will be going up. It's actually mainly to put these drawing models on, because they're just kind of chilling randomly places, so that's what that is for. And I did print the other, um, I guess I did have the hooks printed, but put the Apple TV up, hooks work great, super, like, the uh, printed hooks actually fit way more slugly, snugly than the IKEA ones do, um, so I will definitely be 3D printing a whole bunch of stuff um, to optimize this storage for exactly what I need. As 
you just saw, I printed this pen holder. It was in two parts. Um, but yeah, works great. Um, it is like a cylinder. It's not necessarily specifically for a pen holder, but that's what I'm using it for because I decided to put another shelf here to kind of split the two, the area so it's like a nice um, angled space. And on this shelf right now, I have my most used acrylic ink. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there yet, but hung um, my Copics up um, multi-liners because I always forget I own those and um, I would like to use them more often. So that's there. And then in this one, I moved some of the pens that were in that container um, to here. And then I put my most used um, dip pens in there as well. So that's what this setup is looking like right now. I do want to print, um, again, still haven't done that yet, need to print something for the pliers, but that's an overview right now of how things are looking. Now that everything's printed out, I figured I would update you guys one last time before I end the video. So the thing I'm pretty sure I showed you that I was printing was this shelf. This was like called a tablet shelf, but it was just, you know, a decent sized flat um, shelf because obviously these shelves have um, their, they have a, um, a rim around them, so it's not necessarily great for fitting a whole bunch of stuff in. So wanted something flat to put my drawing mannequins on. So as you can see, they're chilling out there. Um, I also finally got the um, little um, fork hook thing for my pliers. And then the other thing I did was I attached a piece of cork, um, like hung it up with a couple of these clips. I had these like 12 by 12 pieces of cork that I'm pretty sure I ended up buying for some sort of craft like years ago and just never used. So I cut one down to fit in this section here and have some pins to hold some stuff up because as you saw before I just put the cork board up so I thought having a little cork area um, just to hold smaller things that might not need their own clip or whatever would be an interesting idea to add on to that. And then I think the only other thing I did was I just hung up my knife separate there. So yeah, that is what this wall is looking like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this might have given you some organization ideas. Maybe you have these um, scatter boards or you might be looking at them. So anyway, hope this might have given you some organization ideas. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.